The question says the electronic configuration of an element. This is the electronic configuration given here, and this represents its excited state, ground state, cationic or anionic form. Okay. Whenever the electronic configuration given, always check whether this electronic configuration follows a Bauer's principle or not. Okay. According to a Bauer's principle, filling of electron in orbitals is done. In the increasing order of their energy, okay. Filling of electrons in orbital is done in the increasing order of their energy, okay. What is the order of energy we have among orbitals? We have one s, then we have two s, then it is two p, and it is three s, then it is three p, then it is four s, then it is three d. Is there? This is the order of orbitals in the increasing order of their energy, okay. In this pattern, electrons should be filled. And always keep in mind, lower energy orbitals must be filled completely before filling the higher energy orbitals. So this is the uh, this is the condition we follow while filling the electrons according to Abbaus principle. Lower energy orbitals should be completely filled before filling the higher energy orbitals. Okay. Now pay attention carefully. If we look at the electronic configuration, one s orbital is completely filled. Keep in mind, one orbital can hold maximum two electrons. Okay, one s orbital, one s orbital completely filled. Then two s orbital also completely filled. It is up to, it is according to Abbaus principle. Okay. Next we have two p six. It is also completely filled. Then we have three s two completely filled. Then we have three p six. It is also completely filled. Now if you look at here, you can see this is what we have. In the last 4s and 3d is there. 4s and 3d. You can see we have 4s1 and then we have 3d5 is there. You can write this way also, no problem. 3d5 and 4s1 is there. Okay. If you compare the energy, 3d orbital is having higher energy than 4s orbital. Then filling of 4s orbital should be completely done before filling 3d orbital. Lower energy orbital should be completely filled before filling eh, higher energy orbitals. But in this case, you can see 3D orbital is half filled. Means some here you can see D orbital may be pulling one electron from S orbital to be in the stable state because we have electronic configuration. If outermost electronic configuration is what completely filled, highly stable, partially filled, and before partially filled, half filled. It is half filled is there. And maybe like D orbital has pulled one electron from S orbital to be in the stable state because it is what. Half filled, uh, but it is half filled. Is there? So d orbital is what half filled, and half filled condition is applied only in case of chromium, molybdenum, and tungsten. Is there? Chromium, molybdenum, and tungsten. Only these elements are there. Chromium and molybdenum, and this is what tungsten is there. W is there. Only these elements are there in which half filled condition is applied. Means electronic configuration is given to any of these elements. But anyway, if you look at the outermost, we have four. In the fourth period, we have chromium. Means electronic configuration for the chromium is given there. Okay, from the you can see outermost cell. Okay, so cell number of cell means that is what principal quantum number that will represent the number of period, and from here we can determine the element. Okay, so for chromium we have atomic number twenty four. For chromium twenty four is there. If you write electronic configuration, we have outermost electronic configuration because up to here it is completely filled. I'm talking about outermost. It is supposed to be 3d4 and it is 4s2 is there. This is supposed to be the electronic configuration according to Abbaus principle. But if we apply the stability rule, so half filled is complete. Half filled is more stable than partially filled. It is partially filled electronic configuration. So what happens? You know, one electron from S orbital is pulled, then it becomes 3d5, and it is what 4s1 is there, and it is more stable electronic configuration. So in general, it is not in the excited state. We did not supply any energy. Okay, we did not supply any energy uh, to move one electron from S orbital to D orbital. This situation is taking place automatically, spontaneously. It is happening spontaneously. Why? Because it is making the arrangement of electron in such way so that it should be in the stable state. Okay. If it is in the excited state, it is never in the state stable state because it has got the energy. And when it is in the excited state, it has energy. Means it will be more reactive, less stable. Okay. If any element is in the stable state, it should be in the ground state. Okay. 
So we got a ground state. Option B is correct. Okay, this arrangement takes place automatically. It is spontaneous, and it is happening only to be in the stable state. Okay, so option B is correct. That is ground state. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to the channel.